Too few clues. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, detective hats. And magnifying glasses. Let's be detectives. Yeah, and catch a thief. Hurry, there's no time to waste. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the scene of the crime, the Royal Gallery. Thank goodness you're here. Someone's stolen one of our three jeweled treasures, the emerald egg. Did anyone see the thief? Yes, there were three witnesses. They saw who took it. What did you see? <coughs> he says the thief was gray with big ears. Hurry, let's get him. <coughs> Sorry, there's no time to waste. The thief might get away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't take long for the detectives to find who fit the clues. Ta-da! Here's your thief. You see? He's gray. And has big ears. I ain't done nothing. <laughs> what do you mean it's not him? He's gray with big ears. Then who just stole the ruby raspberry? It's gone. gone. Looks like you didn't do it, Mouse. You're telling me. <laughs> We need more information, fast! So what did you see? <coughs> he had a long nose too? Gray, big ears, long nose. Got it, let's go, Kate. <coughs> no no time. time, we've, we've got, got a thief to catch. <coughs> and with their new clue, the detectives found their next suspect in no time at all. We got your thief. I didn't take anything. <coughs> what? Of course he's the thief. He's gray with big ears and a long nose. Then who stole the diamond donut? Huh? All three treasures gone. Now we have to close the museum. And by the way, you're fired! <coughs> this is awful. How did we mess up so badly? I haven't got a clue. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Extra bad detectives ruin case. That's us. We kept catching the wrong guy. Weren't there witnesses to give you clues? Three. The first one said the thief was gray with big ears, so he ran and caught a mouse. But he wasn't the thief. The second one said he had a long nose, too, so he ran and caught an aardvark. But it wasn't him, either. What'd the third witness say? We didn't ask. It was taking too much time, so we ran. Too much time? But didn't catching the wrong guys take even more time? Well, yeah. And that just helped the thief steal more treasures. Hey, I get it. When you rush and do something before getting all the facts, you end up getting the wrong answer. Sounds like you finally got a clue. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's try again. But this time, we'll get all the clues first. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their investigation all over again. But this time, they made sure to get all the clues before trying to figure out who the thief was. Gray, big ears, long nose, and really big. Like him? Mm-hmm. May we look in your bucket? The emerald egg! The ruby raspberry! And the diamond donut! Great work, Kit and Kate. You saved the jewels and the museum. Okay, mister. Why'd you do it? I want to be a pirate, and I need treasure to lock up in me treasure chest. The only thing that's gonna get locked up is you in jail. And by getting all the facts before jumping into action, Kid and Kate solved the mystery and got their man. Uh, I mean, elephant. Extra, extra, clever kitties, crack case! Yeah! Woo! We did it! Yeah! We did it! We did it!
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> home sweet home. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, an invitation. Hansel and Gretel have invited us to lunch at their gingerbread house. When? Right now. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight through the woods to Hansel and Gretel's gingerbread house. Oh, Gordy, you made it! Wow, those chair legs look like peppermint sticks. That's because they are peppermint sticks. You mean you can eat all of this? Yeah, sure. Mmm, what smells so good? That's the special lunch we made just for you. Cream soup and fish fritters. Those are our favorites. And there's a special surprise for dessert. What, what is, is it? it? If we told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. We'll be right back with the soup. Mmm, this candlestick tastes like licorice. And this lamp tastes like a sugar cookie. Yummy. I wonder what these crayons taste like. <gasps> Yuck. Like, like crayons. crayons. Kate, the television looks like chocolate. It is chocolate. Mm. Lunch is served. First course, dreamy, creamy soup. Ooh. Sorry, I guess we're just not hungry for soup. It's okay. You love the next course, fish fritters. Sorry, we can't eat that either. What a shame. We made them just for you. Yeah, well, we'll just have to go straight to the big surprise. Five layer triple chocolate fudge cake. Oh. I'm sorry. We can't eat a bite. <laughs> but we worked so hard to make your favorites. Oh, we really hurt their feelings. I feel terrible. And so does my stomach. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We've ruined the lunch Hansel and Gretel made for us. How did you ruin it? We didn't eat any of the food they made. Not the cream soup or the fish fritters or the triple fudge cake. You don't like those foods? Are you kidding? We love them. Then why didn't you eat them? We weren't hungry. How come? Did you eat lunch before you came? No, but I did eat some licorice candlestick. And I ate some sugar cookie lamp. And we shared the whole TV set. But why did you eat all that candy if it was almost lunchtime? Because it tasted so good. And how did lunch taste after all of that candy? We don't know, because it ruined our appetites. And Hansel and Gretel's feelings. I understand. Sweets taste delicious, but too many of them can really spoil your appetite. And that can make the whole meal a lot less fun for everyone. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll wait until after lunch to eat sweets. So everyone can enjoy the meal together. Now, now we know, know, so back we go! go. Kid and Kate started their gingerbread house adventure all over again. But this time when they saw all of the sweet things. A licorice candlestick. I bet it's delicious. Not as delicious as the sugar cookie lamp. Or this chocolate television. Want a taste? Just a tiny one. We don't want to spoil our appetites. Mm. Lunch, Lunch is served. And by not spoiling their appetites, Kit and Kate were able to enjoy the most delicious lunch they'd ever had. Five layer triple chocolate fudge cake. Just a little piece, please. Yeah, we want to save room for some TV. <laughs> <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Hair and share alike. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a hairbrush. And a comb. We can make pretty hairdos. For poodles. In Poodleville. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran down the fanciest street in Poodleville, straight to their very own hair salon. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, I can't wait for our first customer. You mean Custy Mills. Woofy and Puffy Poodle. Wow! We are competing tonight in the Wolfminster Dog Show. And we need chic new hairdos. What style? Amazing. amazing. Then amazing it is. Have a seat. Let's get started, Miss Puffy. Kit, if we do a good job, everyone will come to our salon. Yeah, and I'm going to make Woofy just wow. Now, let's see. I'll need curlers, this gel, ribbon, sparkles, and this fur dye. That's everything. Okay, Woofy, a few curlers ought to do the trick. Ooh, is it curlers? Voila! Now gel. Ooh, curlers. Great idea. No, Kate, those are mine. I took them off the shelf. But you're not using all of them. Doesn't matter. They're mine. Fine. Hmm, some ribbon would be nice. Yes, ribbon divine. No, Kate, that's my ribbon. But there's plenty for both of us. But it's my ribbon. Then this is going to be my fur color. Hey, give it back, or Wolfie won't be beautiful. Uh, the nerve. Uh, outrageous. Uh, hey, let go. You let go. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Is not. Is too. Let, let it go. go. Oh. Disaster. You'll, You'll never, never style in this town again. again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh. They're the worst hairdos I ever seen. Uh, what did we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were supposed to make the poodles amazing hairdos, but all we made was an amazing mess. How'd that happen? Kate grabbed the fur color, and it spilled everywhere. Why did you grab it? Because Kit wouldn't share it. He wouldn't share anything. Because it was mine. Yours? Did you bring everything from home? No, I got everything from the shelf. But aren't those things for everyone to use? Yeah, but I needed them. So did I. And what would have happened if you'd shared? Well, I guess Kate wouldn't have gotten mad, and then the fur color wouldn't have spilled, and the poodles wouldn't have run away. Hey, I understand. If you share, then everyone gets a chance to do what they want to do. Said with style. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll share all the supplies, no matter who gets them first. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their poodle styling adventure all over again. But this time... Kate, try these curlers. I've got plenty. Thanks! Here, try putting mousse on the curlers. Wow! And here's some ribbon for a bow. Now, let's give them each a touch of color. Show me how. Like this. Voila! Très magnifique. With these doggy doos, we are sure to win the dog show. How about one for the cat? Smile pretty. Simply stunning. Who did your hair? Kit and Kate, of course. We'd never use anyone else. Thanks to Kit and Kate, Woofy and Puffy won first prize at the dog show. And that's nothing to bark at. We did it! We did it! Woohoo! Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> A couple of quacks. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, stethoscopes. And doctor coats. Let's be doctors. Yeah, we'll be fun doctors that always keep our patients happy. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the hospital, ready to take care of their first patients. Doctors, these ducks are sick. And if we don't get them better right away, they won't be able to dance in the ballet tonight. What should we do? It's all here on the paper, and everything you need is there on the table. You can count on us. Okay, ducks, order number one. It's time for some warm algae soup. <coughs> we won't eat it. Of course not. You and I hate when Mom gives us yucky medicine. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's give him something that tastes better. Like candy. <coughs> the Fun Doctors! Order number two. Keep their heads covered. <coughs> Too itchy, huh? Then let's just cover their heads with these. <coughs> Isn't that much more fun than those itchy hats? The Fun Doctors! All right now, order number three. Stay in bed. <coughs> I know you're not tired, but you need to rest. <coughs> He's right. They do need to practice their dance. Well, they just have to stay in bed, so I guess it's okay if they practice there. <coughs> The Fun Doctors! <laughs> huh? Good heavens! These ducks aren't getting better. They've gotten worse. Much worse. I'll call the theater and tell them they have to cancel tonight's show. The ducks sure aren't having fun now. Me neither. Me neither. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, doctors? We were supposed to help the ducks get better so they could dance in the ballet tonight. But they didn't get better, and now they have to miss it. Well, how did you treat them? We tried to make things as fun as we could for them. Because what the head doctor wanted us to do wasn't fun at all. Well, did they have fun? Of course. They got to eat candy and wear funny hats and jump up and down on the bed. And did having fun help them get better. No, it just made them sicker. Hey, I understand. Trying to get well when you're sick might not be fun. But if you do the right things, you'll have a whole lot more fun when you're all better. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kit. But this time, let's not be fun doctors. Let's just be good doctors. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their doctor adventure all over again. But this time, they made the ducks do just what the doctor ordered. I know it's yucky, but it'll help you get better. Now that's a smart duck. Now let's get these warm hats on. And stay under those covers, guys. You need your rest. The Good Doctor! Well, how are our little feathered friends? Excellent work, Doctors. A full recovery. And just in time. And by being good doctors, Kit and Kate helped the ducks get better in time for their Duck Lake debut. Now this is fun! <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> All fired up. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, firemen hats and coats. Let's be firemen! In Dragonville! Yeah! And we'll do what real firemen do! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the firemen's training center in downtown Dragonville. So, what do real firemen do? Well, first, firemen have to train so they'll be strong. Okay, let's see how fast we can go up and down these ladders. Great idea! Three times. Ready? Go. That's once. That's twice. That's three times. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be like real firemen and put out a fire. Go get the hose. How do you turn this on? Try pulling on that handle. Like this? <laughs> yeah, like that. Come on! Kid and Kate went out in search of a fire that they could put out like real firemen. There's nothing here for us real firemen to do. Nothing here either. How are we going to be like real firemen without a fire to put out? Hi, what are you doing? We're firemen! And we're looking for a fire to put out. Awesome! Hey, why don't you start a fire for us? No, my mom says I should never play with fire. It's dangerous. Don't worry, we'll put it out with this hose. Are you sure? No problem. <gasps> wow, a real fire. Okay, Kit, put it out. Got it. Kit, over there. I got it. we done? Then along came a mysterious stranger. Do you kitties know how this fire got started? We asked the dragon to start it because we thought it would be easy to put out. But it spread so fast. You started it on purpose? Well, we wanted to put out a fire, like real firemen. But putting out fires is only one thing firemen do. Firemen do lots of other things. Like what? Well, firemen are always on the lookout for fireworks, or matches, or lighters. Because if a kid plays with them, he could start a fire. Right, and firemen teach kids to play safe and stay away from hot things like the stove. So they won't burn themselves by accident, right? Exactly. Now you're thinking like real firemen. We are? I get it. A fireman's job isn't just putting out fires. It's making sure fires don't get started in the first place. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll be like real firemen. And try to make sure a fire doesn't start in the first place. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their fireman adventure all over again. But this time, when they finished their training... Look, Kit, fireworks! Don't touch them! Right! I'll go tell a grown-up right away! Hey, don't play near that hot stove! It's dangerous! Sorry. Thank you for spotting these fireworks. A kid really could have gotten hurt. No problem. That's what real firemen do. Right. Hey, we're having a campfire tonight. Would you two firemen like to join us? Sure. Kid and Kate had a wonderful time at the Dragon Family Cookout. And when it was all over, Kit even got to help put out the fire, just like a real fireman. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Bubble Trouble. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, bubble wands. Let's go to Bubble Beach. And build a big bubble castle. Yeah! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the foamy shores of Bubble Beach. Hi, kittens. Here to build a bubble castle? You bet your bubble we are. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, have some bubble good fun. Thanks! Kit, I'll start with the square wand. That looks great. I'll try the triangle wand. Wow, let's try the circle wand. Huh? <laughs> Kate, look out! <laughs> hey, you meanie, you popped our castle. How about I bust your bubbles? How do you like that, Meanie? What's happening? Stop! No fighting on Bubble Beach! It's his fault! What's my fault? You know what, Meanie? I don't care whose fault it is! I told you, no fighting! But, but... Out! Oh, that mean kid ruined our fun! And he got us kicked off of Bubble Beach. This stinks. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were building our bubble castle, and this meanie popped it. So we got in a fight, and then got kicked off the beach. Popped your castle? Why? Um, he was probably jealous that our castle was better than his. Or maybe he hates kittens. Who knows? I just know he's mean. How do you know he did it to be mean? Did you ask him? No. Then how do you know for sure? Maybe there was some other reason. You're right. Maybe he hurt his foot. Or is getting chased by a bee. Hey, I get it. When someone does something that hurts you, it's always good to first ask why, instead of just hurting him back. Now there's a double bubble good idea. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, if someone does something bad to us, we'll ask why. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their bubble adventure all over again. But this time when their castle got popped... Whoa! Hey! What? Why did you pop our castle? Castle? Where? Right here. Sorry, I can't see anything without my glasses. Your glasses? Yeah, I lost them. Then I tripped because I couldn't see. And broke our castle. It was all an accident. Do you want us to help you find your glasses? Could you? Sure. Look, here they are. Thanks. Sorry I popped your castle. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Hey, your bubble castle's coming out great. Wanna help me finish it? That would be fun. I'll get our bubble wands. Thanks. I'll finish the towers. I'll make the flags. And I'll make the bubble dragon. How? Watch. Wow. wow! Can I make the bubble banana? Bubble, bubble banana? banana? For the bubble dragon to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! And because they stopped and asked why, Kid and Kate made a bigger, better castle and a new friend without bursting anyone's bubbles. <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> go cry a kite. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a kite. Let's go fly it at Gusty Gulch. Yeah, the breeze is so strong there. I bet we can fly a bicycle. <laughs> go, go, kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran like the wind to Gusty Gulch. It was just a perfect day for flying a kite. Hi, would you like to watch us fly our kite? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We did it, Kate! It's flying! It's flying! It's flying! Wow! Make it go higher, Kit! Kit let out more string, and the kite climbed higher and higher until a sharp gust of wind hit the kite and knocked it down. It's stuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Our kite is stuck, and I never got a turn! Too, Kate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, if I calm down, I'm sure I can figure out how to get the kite down. I got it. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> the kite is stuck up there forever. No, we'll get it down, Kate. And if I could just stop crying, I bet I can think of a way. I, I got it. Hey, Mr. Bear, if you lift me, maybe I can reach the kite. Good idea. I got it. Ugh. That didn't work either. You have to get our kite down. <laughs> my ears, my ears, my ears. Stop crying, Kate. No, not until you get that kite. Please, Kate, I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> Kate, your crying isn't helping at all. In fact, Kate's crying was making things worse, a lot worse. Kate cried so hard that her tears flooded Gusty Gulch. Now we'll never get that kite out of the tree. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Goodness, little one, you've cried a whole lake here. What's wrong? Our kite got stuck in that tree. And that's why you're crying? Because it made you sad? Yeah. I was crying at first, too. Of course, we all cry sometimes when we're sad. But Kate wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't you stop? Because they couldn't get the kite down. And why didn't you help get it down? Because I was crying. Wait, now I understand. It's all right to cry if you're sad or hurt, but when a problem needs solving, you need to calm down so you can think of what to do. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time I'll try helping instead of just crying. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their kite flying adventure all over again. But this time when the kite got stuck... <laughs> I'm sad too, Kate. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if I can stop crying, then maybe I can figure out a way to get the kite. I've got it! Kit, stand on the bear's shoulders. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> What a great idea! We did it! And by calming down, Kate was able to turn her sadness into gladness. Now it's your turn! Really? I love it! I love it! I love it!
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Quit bugging me. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, kids, spacesuits. Let's be astronauts. Yeah, and fly on a mission to outer space. Ready for takeoff. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate leapt out of their magic box and ran into their rocket ship. And not a second too soon. The rocket was about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. Mission Control to Kid and Kate. We've heard music coming from Planet Zebulon, but we don't know where it's coming from. We need you to find out who's making it and show us. You can count on us. Good luck, kittens. Kid and Kate landed on Planet Zebulon, and no sooner had they opened the door of the ship than they heard something coming from the distance. Kate, listen. It's coming from over there. Let's find it. Boing! Whee! Kate, this is fun! Hey, Watch this, Kit! Come on, Kate! <laughs> We've got to find that music! Right. Sorry. Shh! It's coming from behind these rocks! Jigglebugs! We have to show them to Mission Control! But how? I know! Watch! Mmm! Got him! <coughs> Let's take them back to the ship. Mission Control will be so excited when we show them where the music was coming from. Let's get them to sing, and then we'll turn on the camera. Okay, Jigglebugs, start singing. <coughs> hey, sing like before. Ow! Ugh, what's wrong with them? Why won't they sing? I'll get them out. Hey, come out! Mission Control is never going to believe us. They just look like a bunch of rocks. Come on, sing! Look, they're coming out. Run! Oh, no, this is terrible. We failed our mission. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What is the problem, Earthlings? We needed to show Mission Control how the Jigglebugs sing, but they wouldn't do it for us no matter what we did. Well, what did you do? First, we put them in this jar and told them to sing. But they wouldn't do it, so I shook the jar, but that didn't work either. So then I poked them with a stick, but they just sat there like rocks. Hmm, how would it feel if someone shook you around in a jar? I guess I'd be scared. Or if someone poked you with a stick. It would hurt. No wonder they ran away. I understand. Just because someone is little or different from us doesn't mean they can't get hurt or frightened just like we would. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kate. Only this time, let's treat the jiggle bugs the way we would want to be treated. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their space adventure all over again. But this time when they found the jiggle bugs. Look, Kate! Jiggle jiggle bugs, wiggle jiggle bugs, jiggle jiggle We have to show them to mission control. But how can we show them without scaring or hurting them? You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Kid and Kate thought the best way to get that video for Mission Control was to leave the Jiggle Bugs alone and let them sing and dance any way they liked. Jiggle Jiggle Bugs, Wiggle Jiggle Aren't they cute? They sure are. Hey, we see you. Come out and dance with us. Really? And by treating the Jiggle Bugs the way they would want to be treated, Kid and Kate made some new friends that were out of this world. Jiggle Jaggle Wiggle Waggle Jiggle Jiggle Bugs. Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> I can't wait. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, tickets. For the greatest ride in the world. The Linguini Loop de Loop. I can't wait! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight past the super sausage slide and the silly salad spinner until they got to the ride they couldn't wait for. <gasps> the Linguini Loop de Loop! What a ride, the kids! We can't wait! Then just uh, get in the line here and wait till your turn! The Linguini Loop de Loop will be open any minute. Kid and Kate got at the end of the line, but Kate just couldn't wait for it to be her turn. Why should I be all the way at the end of the line? I want to ride it the most. I should be first. Look, guys, free ice cream. Where? <laughs> I don't see any ice cream. Hey, you cut in line. <laughs> ha! Guess you're going to have to wait your turn. No fair. Why does she get to be first? To complete this game, Kate. First in line, feeling fine. First Kate, in line, look out! A fine. giant spaghetti spider! Ah! <laughs> you tricked me. <laughs> you tricked me first. No, you did. No, you did. You did. All right, time for the loop of the loop. Step right up. Who's the first in line? I am. No, me. Hey. Stop. One more time. You got to break my ride. Hey, quit crowding. Move over. Watch your elbow. Whee! Whee! Uh oh! Whoa! Huh? Whoa! Ah! Help! Ah! You broke my ride. Now none of you get the ride. This ride, she's closed. Hm. No fair. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We went to ride the roller coaster, but the lousy wheels broke off. Broke off? Only time that ever happened was when Ten Ton Tony tried to ride, but he was way too heavy. Not like you. Well, we all got in the car together, so we were too heavy. Together? Why didn't you wait your turn? I couldn't wait. Me neither. Couldn't wait? Hmm, what would happen if you went skating on a pond without waiting for the ice to freeze? You'd fall in the water. And not get to skate. And what if you don't wait for your soup to cool? You burn your mouth. And miss the yummy soup. Hey, I get it. Good things come to those who wait. I was waiting for you to say that. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we'll wait in line. Yeah, a ride this great is worth the wait. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their Linguini Loop-de-Loop -loop adventure all over again. But this time they knew that if they were patient and waited their turn... Who's the first? Quick is! Go on, Quick! They could have a lot of fun. Your next quack. Instead of a lot of trouble. Look at him go. Your turn, Quake. Your next kid. Oh, it's going to be so fun, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Yay, it's my turn. Whee! Kid and Kate had the loop de loop of their lives, and it sure was worth the wait. That was great. <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? What 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Big Bouquet. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, a toy dinosaur. Why don't we go and visit some real dinosaurs? Yeah, in Dinosaur Valley. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate leapt out of their magical box in search of a giant adventure in Dinosaur Valley. And as they marveled at the valley's beautiful flowers, Kit and Kate heard someone crying. <laughs> Look, it's a little dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, what's wrong? It's Mother's Day, and I don't have anything to give my mom as a present. And she's gonna be here soon for our picnic. <laughs> Does your mother like flowers? She loves them. This meadow is her favorite place in the whole world. She says it's like sitting in the middle of a big bouquet. Then why don't we pick your mom her own bouquet of flowers? She'd love that. Great. Let's pick some yellow flowers. <laughs> Look, Kate, isn't that pretty? Yeah, but wouldn't it be nicer with more flowers? You're right. Let's add blue flowers. Your mother will love it. Let's do it. Great, but it'll look even with a lot of red flowers, too! <gasps> yeah! <gasps> oh, no! Look at our flower meadow! It's ruined! My mother is going to be so upset! How can we have a picnic now? Uh, I know! We'll just put some flowers back! See? Good as new! <laughs> oh no! It's my mother! We better run! Oh, my meadow! <laughs> and then along came a mysterious stranger. Why is the little dinosaur crying? Today is Mother's Day and she didn't have a present for her mother. So we thought we could pick flowers from the flower meadow. What a lovely idea! Where is the flower meadow? Right there. There? But there aren't any flowers there at all. Not anymore, because we pick them all. Why did you do that? Well, first we had a small bunch of flowers. But we thought it would look better with more flowers. And did it? It looked great, but now the meadow looks terrible. Wait, I get it. Maybe a bigger bouquet does look better than a little one. But taking all of the flowers sure makes the meadow look a lot worse. Yeah, if you take more than you need, then there's nothing left to enjoy later. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we won't pick more flowers than we need. That way the dinosaur will have a pretty present and a beautiful place to enjoy it with his mom. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their dinosaur adventure all over again. But this time when they collected flowers, they made sure not to take too many. One, two, three! Perfect! Here comes my mother! Happy Mother's Day! Why, thank you. Mom, these are my new friends, Kit and Kate. Well, hello. Hello. We have a present for you. Go on, Kate. Show her. We picked you some flowers. But not too many. Oh, they're lovely. And with so many flowers left in the meadow, Kit, Kate, and the dinosaurs felt like they were playing in the middle of a big bouquet. Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Ho down, slow down. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a guitar. And a violin. Let's play music for a big barn dance. Yeah, a big country hoedown. Go, go kitty, 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 let's go! Kit and Kate ran with their instruments to a great big ranch. It looked like just the perfect place for their concert. Morning, strangers. What can I do for you? We'd like to use your barn for a hoedown tonight. We'll play the music. Why, sure. Hey, and there's paper and paint in there so you can make a banner to let everyone in town know about it. Great idea. Thanks, Thanks ma'am. Ma Come on, Kit. Let's go and make that sign. I'm sure everyone's going to come to the hood on when they see this sign. Kit and Kate got started on their big banner. They were so excited about their concert, they didn't notice some unexpected visitors. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you today, Missy? I'd say she's hungry. Hey, Shoo, don't eat our paintbrushes. We need them to paint our banner. <laughs> Hey, stop that! Those are our instruments. We need them for the concert. <laughs> I guess he's a music lover. Lunchtime! Come and get it! Oh boy, I'm hungry! Me too! Kid and Kate ran inside and sat down for lunch. The food was so delicious that they didn't notice what was happening right outside. Thanks for lunch, lunch ma'am. Ma Come on, Kate. We've got work to do. Oh, no. Our sign is ruined. And the paints and brushes are missing, too. It must have been that hungry cow. Oh, well, we'll just play the concert without the sign. Kate, the violin is missing. The mouse, he took it underground. And look. The cow probably stepped on it. There goes our whole down. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why so sad, little cowpokes? We can't play our big hoedown tonight. What happened? We were working on our sign and the lunch bell rang. So we ran inside. But while we were eating, it rained and our sign got ruined. Well, at least you still got your instruments. No, we don't. Some animals ruined them. There must have been something you could have done to stop your stuff from getting ruined. No, there wasn't. You can't stop the rain. Or those pesky animals. Hey, I get it. Maybe you can't stop the weather or the animals, but you can put your things away where they'll be safe. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kate. But this time, let's not leave our things where they can get rained on. Or stepped on. Or chewed up. Or stolen. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate grabbed their instruments and started their hoedown adventure all over again. But this time when the lunch bell rang... Lunch time! Come and get it! We'll be right there! Just as soon as we put away our things, where they'll be safe. Look, Kate! It's raining outside. Good thing we put everything away. As soon as the rain stopped, Kid and Kate finished their banner and hung it up for the whole town to see. And when evening came round, those kittens put on a hoedown that just wouldn't slow down.
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the treasure of Parrot Point. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, pirate hats. And a treasure map. Let's hunt for buried pirate treasure. Yeah, filled with sparkling jewels and gold coins. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magic box and set sail in search of buried treasure. Next stop, Parrot Point. Kit, if it's a buried treasure, how are we going to dig it up? Ah, kitties need a shovel. Yeah, that's just what we need. Oh, on the rack. Look, that's just like the big, strong shovel Dad uses to dig holes in the garden. Oh, strong shovel. Yeah, but look at these. They're so much prettier. Oh, pretty shovel. We'll look great digging treasure with these. Yeah, they look so pretty with our hats. Now we look like real pirates. Ah, silly pirates. Ah, all ashore. Kid and Kate arrived at Parrot Point and looked at their map to find where they needed to dig. The treasure map says to look under the tallest tree. Is that the tallest? Or that? Neither. That's the tallest. Now the map says we need to dig next to Triangle Rock. Hmm. There, a triangle. All right, fancy pirate, dig. Ready or not, treasure, here we come. Aye, no treasure can hide from the lights of us. My pretty shovel, it broke. Mine too. Arg! All right then, matey, we'll have to dig with the handles. These shovels are terrible. We're never going to dig up that treasure. Arrgh! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, pirates? We wanted to dig up buried treasure. Did you have a map and tools? Yeah. Then what was the problem? Our tools broke. I never saw a good metal shovel do that. These aren't metal. We took the pretty gold ones. Ah, maybe they're pretty, but they're not strong enough for digging up buried treasure. These are just for hanging on the wall like a decoration. But they look like gold. And they look so pretty with our hats. Yeah. <laughs> Did you come here to look pretty or to dig up buried treasure? To dig up buried treasure. But those shovels look so much prettier than the metal ones. Hey, I get it. Got a job you really want to do. You need to know your tools are good for the job. And not just good looking. Now that's hard to argue with. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we'll pick the right tool for the job. You bet we will, matey. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their treasure hunt all over again. But this time when they picked their tools... Not this thin, pretty one. It'll break. Yeah, it's pretty. But we need something strong. And this one sure isn't. <laughs> Here we go. Good, strong iron. Just like Dad uses. And with real working tools, Kit and Kate dug up that treasure in no time. The treasure parrot point. Wow! Our shovels worked! Yay! They sure did, Kate. From now on, I'll always pick the right tool for the job, not just the prettiest one. Me too, matey. Arr! And by using the right tools, Kit and Kate discovered the treasure and the lesson they'd treasure forever. <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Candy Kingdom. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a book of fairy tales. Ooh, let's go to Candy Kingdom and be part of our own fairy tale. Sweet! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kitty and Kate left right into Candy Kingdom, the sweetest place you could ever imagine. Only something was wrong. Please help me! Look, up there! What's wrong, fair maiden? I'm being held prisoner by the evil witch, and when she gets back, she's going to turn me into a frog. Don't worry, we'll save you. Kit, let's find the door. You go that way. Oh, I didn't see any door. Me neither. Then how can we rescue the maiden? <gasps> Wait right here. Let's toss one end of this licorice vine up to the maiden. Then she can climb down. Good thinking! Oh, it's not long enough. You stay here. I'll find something else. I can use this candy cane like a pole and jump into the window. Great idea. But how will you two get back down? Bad idea. Fair Maiden, what do you have in your tower? Well, I have lots of marshmallows. Perfect. Throw some down. What are we going to do with marshmallows? We can stack them to make stairs. Stairs. I love it. Down below. <coughs> hey! Fair Maiden, we need more. <coughs> what are we going to do? We've tried everything. This is terrible. It's worse than terrible. Here comes the witch. Well, hello, fair maiden. Hmm. Sorry I'm so late getting back. We'd better get hopping. <laughs> oh, no. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why are you so sad, kitties? We couldn't save the fair maiden. And now she's a frog. Why couldn't you save her? We tried using everything we could find, but nothing worked. Yeah, the licorice vine was too short. And we would have gotten stuck up there if we used the candy cane like a pole. And a big bird ate our marshmallow stairs. See? We tried everything. It sounds to me like you tried everything one way. What do you mean? Wait, I get it. If we can think of different ways to use what we have, maybe we can find an answer. Yeah, and I already have a great idea. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry, Kate. We've got a maiden to save. Now, now we, we know, know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, they tried using what they had in a much more creative way. Don't worry, we'll save you. Go ahead, tie the vine to the stick. Right. What are you two fishing for? You'll see. Now we need a marshmallow. I've got some up here. Then throw one down, quick. <laughs> OK, Kate, follow me. Here, birdie birdie. It's working! Jump on, Kate! <laughs> Climb aboard, fair maiden! Your carriage has arrived! You really saved me! Oh, you two kittens are the sweetest! Ah, oh, shucks! And Kid and Kate flew the fair maiden back to her castle, where she lived happily ever after.
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Don't be shellfish. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look at diving suits. Let's be deep sea divers at the Great Rainbow Reef. Yeah! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and started diving to the ocean bottom. They'd never seen anything like it before. <laughs> it's beautiful! Hi, fish. Kate, look! A mermaid! Hi, Miss Mermaid. What a pretty necklace you've got. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five pearls. Where did they come from? Right over there in the oyster beds. These pearls grow inside the oysters. Hey, Kit, let's collect five pearls and make a beautiful necklace. Yeah, for Mom. Are the oysters nice? They were nice to me. But just remember, the oysters love their pearls very much. Thanks, Miss Mermaid. Look, every oyster has a pearl. This will be easy. Oh. Kit, they're yawning. We better ask them for their pearls before they fall asleep. Why bother them? We'll just wait till they fall asleep and take them. But she said they love their pearls very much. They won't mind. They're for a beautiful necklace. That's true. They're asleep. One, two, three, four, five. Five pearls! Hooray! Hey, 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 hey! They took our pearls! Get those kitties! Then along came a mysterious stranger. Well, you two kitties sure look shaken up. What happened? I don't know. All we wanted to do was make a pearl necklace like the mermaid has. But the oysters started chasing us and trying to bite us. Wait, you asked for their pearls and then they chased you? Well, we didn't exactly ask. Why not? We didn't want to bother their nap time, so when they fell asleep, we just took them. Well, were they glad you took their pearls and let them sleep? Glad? Mad is more like it. But why did they let the mermaid take their pearls? She must have asked them first, because she knows they love their pearls. Hey, I get it. If something doesn't belong to you, you should never take it without asking. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's try again, but this time we'll make sure to ask for permission. Instead of just taking. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again, but this time when they reached the oysters... Sorry, I see you're about to take a nap. But we'd like to make a pearl necklace for our mom. And we'd be really thankful if you could give us some of your beautiful pearls. Sure! sure. Thanks! Kit, it worked! One, two, three, four... You don't want to give up your pearl, do you, little guy? Uh -uh. It's okay. We understand. Thanks anyway. Doesn't this feel better, Kit? It sure does. Come on, let's ask the next oyster. Could we please have your pearl, Mr. Oyster? You got it. It's huge! And Kit and Kate strung the pearls into a beautiful necklace for Mom. Look, Mom! Five pearls! Yeah, but the real pearls are you and Kit for being so nice to the oysters. And to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who will we be? Who 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Snow Lie. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Hey, Kit, what's that? It's a compass. It tells you which way is north. You mean we could use it to go to the North Pole? Great idea! We can fly there with the ducks in a hot air balloon. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate headed straight to their beautiful balloon and thought about what they could do when they got to the North Pole. Maybe we could build a big snowman when we get there. Sure, that'll be fun. Here, Kate, keep the compass safe. I'll go and get the ducks. This is so cool. It doesn't matter which way I turn, the needle keeps pointing north. But Kate wasn't the only one fascinated by the compass. Hey, what's that? Ah! Oh no, Kit's going to be so angry with me. I better not tell him. <laughs> We're all here, Kate. Everybody, climb on in. North we go to play in the snow! <laughs> now what do I do? Okay, Kate, which way's north? Uh, that way. No, no, I mean that way. Well, which way is it? Just read the compass. Where is the compass? Uh, there was a scary mouse, see? And he stole it from me. A little mouse took that big compass? No, this mouse was big. Really, really big. We have to get that compass back, Kate. Which way did he go? Oh, no, he didn't run off. The mouse was huge. He ate it. Kate, you scared off the ducks. Kate, which way should we go? I don't know, but definitely not this way. This is terrible. No compass and no balloon. Now we'll never get to the North Pole. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's happened to your balloon, kitties? We were on our way to the North Pole, but we ended up here instead. How come? Because Kate lost our compass and then started making up big lies. Why did you lie? Because I couldn't find it, and I didn't want Kit to be angry with me. Well, did lying help you find it? No. I understand. If I had just told Kit the truth, he could have helped me look for it. Yeah, at least that way there's a chance we could have found it. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kit. Let's try again. But this time, if something bad happens, I'll tell you the truth right away. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate got ready for their balloon adventure all over again. But this time... Hey, what's that? Oh, no. You won't scare me this time, Mr. Mouse. Hey, what's that? Ah! Well, Kit might get angry, but I'm going to tell him the truth this time. I'm very sorry, Kit, but I got scared by a little mouse, and I dropped the compass in the pond. Can you help me look for it? Sure, Kate, but we have a problem. That water's too deep for us. <coughs> you mean you'll go look for it? <coughs> Thanks! Ducks, I'm sure glad I told the truth this time. Me too. All aboard! North we go to play in the snow! And Kit, Kate, and the ducks flew straight to the North Pole, where they finally got that chance to build a great big snow mouse. <laughs> Who will we be? What 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Super duper party pooper. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, party hats. <gasps> Let's go to party land. Where every day's a party. That'll be fun. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate couldn't wait to get to party land. But when they got there, it didn't look anything like what they imagined. Huh? This is party land? Look. Whoa! Welcome! I'm the Party Land Party Genie! Time to pick our special kitty for the day! Hey! It's me! Yay! Super duper! That means it's your special day! Let the party begin! Wow! I love it! Of course! You're the party princess! Hey, what do I get? You get to enjoy your sister's big day! Huh? Now make a wish and blow out the candles. But I want a cake. I wish for race cars. <gasps> no fair, Kit. It's my special day. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, it won't work for you. Today's the party princess's day. Go ahead, Kate. Hmm. I wish for music. <laughs> wow! Go ahead, push the pedals. Hooray for Kate! Kate is great. She's so great, so great, so great. Hooray for Kate! Kate is great. She's so Why, great, so great, so great. You. Hooray <laughs> for Kate! Kate is great. Hey, Kate! It's my turn. I want a song about me. <laughs> This stinks! Easy now, Kit! I'm sure you'll like what's coming next. It's beautiful! Now swing at the shiny star with the wand. If you hit it, wonderful surprises will come out. Forget it! Let go, Kit! No! If I can't do it, no one will! <gasps> you broke the party. Goodbye. Oh, no. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Yo, what's wrong, kitties? We came to Partyland for a great time, but Kit ruined the party. Why'd you ruin it? Because all the special stuff was for Kate, and none was for me. Huh. Tell me, did you ever have a day when you got special stuff? Yeah, my birthday. Huh. And did everyone have fun? We all had lots of fun. And did everyone get the same special things you did? No, only I got the special stuff. Hey, wait, I get it. When you help make the day special for someone else, you help make the day fun for everyone. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. But this time, I'll help make your special day extra special. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their party land adventure all over again. But this time when the cake came out... Make a wish and blow out the candles, Kate. It's your special day. Yay! Ha-ha! <laughs> and when it was time to make music... Go on, Kate! Pedal! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! She's so great, so great, so great! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! And when it was time to hit the star... Go on! Swing, Kate! I can't reach it, Kit. Can you do it? Sure I can. Wait, I can do something better. Go on, it's your special day. This is so much fun! Wow! Whoa. Thanks, Kit! And by helping to make Kate's day extra special, Kit made the day special for everybody.
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Hocus Pocus. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit. Top hats. And capes. Let's be magicians. Yeah, we'll star in the Hocus Pocus show. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their box and dashed straight to the entrance for the big show. Wow, look who's in the show, Kate. Oh, they're really good. But we're better. Just wait until it's our turn. Hmm, it's locked. Hey, open up. We're here for the show. Hello. What do you want? We're great magicians. We want you to open the door so we can come in and do our tricks. Well, all it takes is a little magic to open this door. This'll be easy. We know plenty of magic. Behold, as I make this donut disappear. Watch. Ta-da! That's great, kid, but that's not the kind of magic I'm looking for. Uh, that was a good trick, too. Hmm, maybe he wants us to do some magic together. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what a surprise. Prepare for a wonder. Rise, kitty kitty. Now, rise. That's great, kids, but that's not the kind of magic I'm looking for. Hmm. Kit and Kate wondered what kind of magic could that guard be looking for? I know! Magic sparkles! Yeah, that's gotta be it! Open sesame! <gasps> Why didn't we think of that before? Hey, where is everybody going? Show's over, kids. You missed it. Over? That's not fair. We wore magician's costumes. And showed him some of our best magic tricks, too. And he still wouldn't open the door for us. Now we missed the show. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why the long faces, kitties? The guard wouldn't let us into the magic show. How come? We don't know. He said we just needed to do some magic. And we did all of our best tricks for him. We even used magic sparkles. Maybe there's some other kind of magic? Of course, Kit. How could we forget? Magic words. You mean Hocus Pocus? No, silly. Abracadabra? No. Shazam? <laughs> A lack of bluey? No. I'm joking, Kate. I get it. Please and thank you are the most powerful magic words of all. Right. Thanks, Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try again. Yeah, but this time we'll use the right kind of magic to get the door to open. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their magic adventure all over again. But this time when they got to the entrance. Hello, what do you want? We're great magicians. And we'd like to come in and do our tricks in the show. Would you open the door for us, please? Yay! Yay! Um, excuse me, but we can't get by. Just use the magic words. Thank you for opening the door. You're very welcome. Now you'd better hurry. You're on next. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, please work. Ta-da! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so with just the right magic words, Kit and Kate opened the door to a truly magical day. What will we 
we do? Who will we see? This will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Safari so bad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, safari hats. And cameras. Let's go on safari. We can take the first pictures ever of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate could hardly wait to get into the jungle and take pictures of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Which way's the jungle, sir? That way. Do you have all your supplies? Supplies? Of course. You'll need bug cream for the swamp, hiking boots for the thorny thistles, and a flashlight in case it gets dark. They're over there. Thanks. Do you see the bug cream? No. Do you see the boots? No. Let's just go. Yeah, we got our cameras. We don't need that other stuff. Kid and Kate ran into the jungle swamp. Now where was that sneaky sneaker monkey? There she is! Good thing we didn't wait. Come on, after her! But suddenly, Kit and Kate ran into something they hadn't prepared for. <coughs> Ow! Nipsy flies! Ouch! Stop it! Ow! Ow! Uh, ow! If we only had that bug cream! <laughs> Where did she go? Ow! She went that way. Come on. Ow. Kid and Kate finally got away from the Nipsy flies. There she is. <laughs> Quick, after her. But then they ran into another problem that they hadn't prepared for. Ow. Thorny thistles. Ow. 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 This hurts. <laughs> Ow. Oh, ouch. Oh, she's getting away. Oh, why didn't we bring those hiking boots? She's gone. We're never going to get her picture. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hello, explorers. What wrong? We wanted to get a picture of the sneaky sneaker monkey, but she got away. Why she get away? First the nipsy flies kept biting us. Then these thorny thistles hurt our feet. You kitties in jungle, you need bug cream and good shoes. We know, but it was taking so long to get them. And we didn't want to miss our chance to take your picture. Well, did you get picture? We never got a chance. Wait, I get it. If you take the time to get ready before you leave, you'll be ready to do what you want once you get there. Thanks, Dad. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try it again. Yeah, but this time we won't leave until we're ready. <laughs> now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kin and Kate started their safari adventure all over again. But this time... I found the bug cream. And here are the boots. And I've got the flashlights. Now we're ready. Not quite. Put on your bug cream. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Kid and Kate headed into the swamp. But this time, when the Nipsy Flies tried to nip... Nuh-uh, Nipsy Flies. This time we're ready for you. <laughs> Ow, bug cream. Brock. There she is. Come on. And when the thistles got thorny... Faster, Kate. No problem with these boots on. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was that monkey? Look, her sneaker prints. She went in there. But it's so dark inside. No problem. We have flashlights. Oh, yeah. Flashlights on. Hey, why are you following me? We just want to take your picture, can we? Sure. Here's one for you. Wow, I never saw my picture before. Can I take some of you? Sure. sure. And together with their new friend, Kit and Kate had a picture-perfect day. <laughs> Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Baking Buddies. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, aprons. And baking hats. Let's be bakers. Yeah, we can bake a cake for the Squirrel Princess's birthday. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set out for the royal kitchen. They were so excited to make the Squirrel Princess the best birthday cake she'd ever had. All right, let's get started. Now, where is that royal recipe book? <laughs> Thanks, royal helpers. Come on, Kate. Let's pick out a yummy cake to bake. Hmm. Banana bark cake. Nah, too chewy. Twigberry upside down cake. Eh, uh, too crunchy. How about this one? Lemon duck cake. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I got it. Amazing acorn layer cake. The princess will love that. So what do we do? The directions are right here. First, we need to gather the ingredients. Well, that was easy. Okay, put three cups of flour in a bowl. Got it. One, two, three. Perfect. Next, add one cup of milk. I'll do it. I love milk. I love milk, too. Now, two cups of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Right. Two cups of salt. No, I said two teaspoons of salt. That's way too much. Oops. Don't worry. We'll just add more sugar. Perfect. Next, two cups of nuts. Nuts? Yuck. Let's use fish instead. Great idea. Okay, royal helpers. Bake for 10 minutes. Kid and Kate could hardly wait till their creation was ready. Yay! It's ready! Woohoo! I bet the princess has never seen a cake like ours before. <laughs> but the cake didn't come out quite the way they expected. That isn't a cake, it's a rock. Mm, but maybe it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we ruined the princess's birthday. And then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We tried to bake this cake for the princess, but it came out horribly. Strange, I don't see any fish here in this recipe. Well, that was our idea. Your idea? But if you wanted to make this cake, why didn't you follow the directions? Because we were having so much fun just doing it our own way. But it doesn't seem like you're having fun now. Of course not. We've ruined the cake. And the princess's birthday. Now I understand. It might not always be as much fun just to do what the directions say. But you'll be a whole lot happier when things come out the way you wanted them to. Now that sounds like a recipe for success. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Kate, let's try again. Yeah, but this time let's do it just like the recipe says. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their baking adventure all over again. But this time... One cup of milk. And no more! They followed the directions exactly. Just two teaspoons of salt. And when the cake was done... <laughs> One, two, three, four. The Royal Princess. <gasps> is that my cake? Yes, it is. We hope you like it, Your Highness. Like it? I love it. This is going to be my best birthday party ever. I hope you'll come. Really? We'd love to. And that was the beginning of a sweet friendship. <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Great Race. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, racing caps. Let's be scooter racers. Yeah, we'll enter the great scooter race down Willy Nilly Hill. We can race against the ducks. And I'm going to win. No way, Kit, I am. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. Kit and Kate could feel the excitement as they arrived at Willy Nilly Hill. Look at this hill. I'm going to go so fast. And I'm going to go faster. Hi, ducks. <coughs> See you at the starting line. One scooter kit, please. And one for me, too. Here you go. Now take your boxes to the starting line and put your scooters together. When I fire the starting gun, the race begins. And I'm going to win it. No, I am. It looks like putting these scooters together is easy. Kit and Kate emptied their boxes and began putting together the parts of their scooters. Okay, one running board, one handlebar, and one wheel? But I need two wheels. Kate was having trouble too. Hey, my scooter doesn't have a handlebar. Hmm, Kit's has a handlebar. Hey, Kit. Can I have your handlebar? Okay, but only if you'll trade me one of your wheels. Mmm, deal. All scooters to the starting line, now. Now I'm ready, I got two wheels. Oh, but no handlebar. Great, now I have a handlebar. But only one wheel. Kit, I need my wheel back. And I need my handlebar. Trade? Okay. Now I'm ready. Me too. Racers, Racers on your mark. mark. Get set. Get set. Go. Go. <laughs> Kate, I need my wheel. Give it back to me. Well, I need my handlebar. I asked first. No, I did. Did not. Did too. We have a winner. A winner? We didn't even start yet. If you had just given me your handlebars. If you had just given me a wheel. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kids? I lost the race. Lost it? We didn't even start it. How come? There weren't enough scooter parts. Not enough parts? Oh. Well, how many wheels does a scooter need to work? Two. And how many wheels do you have all together? Well, I have one, and Kate has two. That's one, two, three all together. And how many handlebars does a scooter need? Just one. Here. Interesting. Hey, wait. I get it. There were enough parts for the scooter. We just needed to think about working together instead of working by ourselves, like the ducks. Then we could have had a scooter. And a lot more fun. We get it. Thanks, Dad. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's go back and try again. Yeah, but this time we'll be a team. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate set off again for the race. But this time, they thought about how they could win by working together. Two scooter kits, please. Here you go. And who's going to win? We are! This is the coolest scooter ever. And the best team ever. All scooters to the starting line. Racers, on your mark. Get set. Go! Kit and Kate raced off together down Willy Nilly Hill. And working together, they had the greatest great race ever. Yay! Where will we go? Who will we be? 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Cat Elephant. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, a ball. That's not a ball, Kate. That's a dragoon egg. No way. What's a dragoon? They're like dragons, but they float like balloons. Wow. Then let's go find a dragoon and ride it. See you soon, big dragoon. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set out to find a dragoon. They looked everywhere for one. Dragoon! Where are you? Hey, Kate, did you find them? No, but I found three pop cows. One, two, three! <laughs> Quick goofing off, Kate. We need to find that dragoon. Oh, where are you? Then Kit saw someone who might be able to help them. Excuse me, do you know where we can find a dragoon? Sure I do. Great! Oh, um, what are you? I'm a catelephant. I know all about dragoons. Do you want me to help you find one? His nose is so strange. Yeah, but he seems friendly to me. Well, he makes me nervous. I think we should go. Um, thanks, Catelphin, but I think we're going to keep looking for that dragoon ourselves. It's my nose, isn't it? I thought it'd be fun to play together. It's so much more fun with friends. Aww. Now, where is that dragoon? Kate, come here. Look, a dragoon. See, we didn't need that cat elephant. Wow, a real live dragoon. <laughs> what was that? It sounds like the cat elephant. He sounds really sad. We should go find him. Kit and Kate followed the crying to a cave. He's in there. <laughs> I was only trying to be nice. Hey, cat elephant, please come out. Go away. We're sorry. Leave me alone. <laughs> I ruined everything. No cat elephant, no dragoon, no fun. I feel terrible. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were searching for a dragoon, and then we met a cat elephant who knew all about them. But I was scared of his long nose, so I didn't want him to play with us. That made him really cry. Was he friendly? Yeah, he seemed very friendly. Then what difference did it make what his nose looked like? None, I guess. Now I understand. It doesn't matter what someone looks like. What matters is if they're friendly or not. Yeah! Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. I'll be a lot nicer this time. Me too. Now, now we know, know, so back we go! go. Kit and Kate started their search for a dragoon again. But this time when they met the cat elephant... I know all about dragoons. Do you want me to help you find one? Sure. It's much more fun with friends. Look, that dragoon is so big. There's enough room on there for you, me, and our new friend to all ride together. Let me show you how I ride them. Wow, that's cool! Hop on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Woo! Thanks for playing with me. Sure, everything's much more fun with friends. Kit and Kate had a new friend and a great day riding the Dragoon together. <laughs> Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Time to climb. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit. Climbing hats and backpacks. We can climb Swiss cheese mountain. Are you sure you can do it? That's a big mountain. Of course I can. I'm a big girl. Okay then, to Swiss cheese mountain. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set off on their big adventure. They walked through Butter Valley and over the Milky River until they reached what they were looking for. Here it is, Swiss cheese mountain. I want to climb all the way to the top. It's not too scary for you, is it, Kate? No way. I'm not a baby. Okay, then. Let's start climbing. Hands come first. Feet come too. Up, up, up. yodel a e <laughs> <laughs> Kate and Kate climbed and climbed until they reached the plateau. Wow, so beautiful. Look, that cloud looks like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fish! <laughs> this is awesome! Let's slide on down and do it again! Then Kate noticed another path that led even higher. Hey, Kit! I want to climb all the way to the tippy top! We can't! That part's only for big kitties. Look at the sign. You see, Kate? We're not big enough to go up higher. I'm no baby. I can do it. But it's not safe for kids. Let's go take the slide down and climb again. It'll be fun. Okay. You go first, Kit. Sure. Kate? Kate? Where did you go? Oh, no, Kate! I don't care what Kit says. I can climb it. I'm no baby. Kate, wait! Hands come first, feet come too. See, I can do it. I knew I was big enough. Okay, hands come. Uh. Hands come. Uh. Uh. Kate, come down right now. It's not safe. I can't. I'm stuck. Yeah. Oh, no! Now we're both stuck. What do we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hey, what are you doing up here? This area isn't for kids. Didn't you see the sign? Yeah, but I wanted to prove I'm not a baby. No, of course not. You're a big girl, but part of being big is being smart enough to stay safe. Aw, but I wanted to have fun. Well, did you try the slide? That's for kids. I want to do the stuff that big kitties do. <laughs> That's funny, because I wish I was still little enough to go on that slide. It used to be my favorite. Really? Yeah, but I can't go on it anymore because I'm too big. It's just for you kids. And probably a lot more fun for kids than being stuck right here. <laughs> That's for sure. I made a big mistake. I thought that playing on stuff for kids means you're a baby. But really, it just means you're playing smart. I get it. Thanks, Dad. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to try the day over the smart way. Now that sounds like a big girl. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kid and Kate set back out for Swiss Cheese Mountain. But this time, Kate decided she was going to have some big time fun made especially for kids. Hands come first, feet come too. Up, 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 up your leg. <laughs> <laughs> it sure looks like fun. I can't wait until I'm big enough to try. But for now, the last one down the slide is a rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait for me. Woo! And Kid and Kate had big time fun made just for kids. <laughs> Woo! Ha, ha, ha.
Mad, mad, mad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Paints. Brushes. Smocks. Let's be painters. Yeah, with our own studio. Go, go kitty kitties, let's, let's go! When Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box, their playroom transformed into an amazing artist studio. I've got everything planned. First, we'll paint a sunrise like this. Then a still life like this. And then a serious portrait like this one. And when we have enough pictures, we can have our own art show. Yeah! First picture, sunrise over Paris. Grab your watercolors, the sunrise is coming. Okay. And here it comes. No! Clouds ruined my picture. <laughs> it's okay, Kit. Let's just do the still life. <clears throat> okay. Kit decided to move on to the next part of his plan, and Quick Quack and Quake were happy to help their friends get set up. That's great. Let's draw. Just like I planned. Handlebars. Wheel. Not again. <laughs> That's better. Petals. Seat. Oh! <laughs> it's not funny. Let's just do the portrait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Looks great, guys. Now hold still. Good. Some yellow. Finally, things were going just like Kit planned. Until... Ugh! Stop moving! <laughs> Will you all stop it? You stop it, Kit. You're being no fun. You want me to stop? Fine. I quit. That's not fair. Hey! Ugh! Hey, where are you going? So much for our great day of painting. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Artists, what is the matter? Everything. The sunrise got rained out, the still life wouldn't hold still, and my serious portrait was full of silly sneezes. I couldn't paint anything I planned. You planned? But how can you plan when it will be sunny, or when something might fall, or when someone might sneeze? Well, I can't. Of course not. Life is full of surprises. But surprises can be fun, too. Oh, I get it. Just because things don't go the way I planned doesn't mean I can't have fun. Very artfully said. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. Now that's a plan I like. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. go. Kit and Kate started their painting adventure all over again. But this time, when things didn't go the way he wanted, Kit tried to find a different way to have fun. Looks like a rainy day. Hey, that gives me a new idea for my painting. I call it wet, wet morning. And when the still life wouldn't keep still, Kit started drawing something else in a hurry. I call it bad bike, flying fruit. <laughs> That's great. And this time when the duck sneezed. <laughs> this one's called the big sneeze. Wow, super. <laughs> I have a painting too, Kit. It's called Mad, Mad, Mad. It's you when you were getting so mad. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and with so many great pictures, Kit and Kate started making plans for their big art show. 